Well, hello there, BRO folks, and welcome back to the Rush Family Range. We're revisiting the uh, the Lyman hunting slug segment with the uh, with the Lyman Sabo type slugs in both 20 gauge and 12 gauge. The 350 in the 20 gauge and the 525 in the 12 gauge. Rachel and myself had a beautiful afternoon to get back down here to look at some more scenarios for you guys. So let's get going. Okay, folks, we're revisiting the uh, the Lyman hunting slugs, and what we have here is I've heard from a lot of you guys about using different powders and all that in these uh, in these slugs, or what other components we could use. Okay, uh, we're going to shoot a six shot group. This uh, this one right here, we got brand new primed Shedite holes from Ballistic Products, two and three quarter inch. We got 19 grains of clays powder, 19 grains of hydrogen clays under a helix cushion wide, number 24, helix cushion, number 24, and the 525 Lyman slug in here with a beautiful roll crimp. We're going to shoot the bottom target, or the bottom bull. We got the exact same hull, exact same uh, slug, but we got 21 grains of red dot in the second three shot group with the same helix cushion number 24 wide. That 525 Lyman fits in there absolutely perfect using these faster powders. Okay. First three shot of the 19 of clays. Should be a fairly mild load. I'm going to shoot the top. All right, here we go. Eleven sixty-three, and it feels like a game load. Eleven eighty. And eleven eighty six. Oh yeah, the holes look excellent. Can be loaded and rolled again if you so desire to do so. Let's go check and see how the accuracy is. It almost No. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I was checking at that and make sure we didn't keyhole or nothing. No, it's perfectly round. Slug hit it perfectly straight. Same there and there. We had two right there. That was probably me. Probably me. But uh, that's not bad. I'm gonna get Rachel to patch this. We're gonna have to put a new bull on that one. And uh, and we'll shoot the red dot at the uh, at the bottom bull right here, folks. Okay, folks, this is the 21 three shot group 21 a red dot. We're gonna shoot at the bottom bull. Eleven eighty four. Oh, I hear that one smacked from here. 1176. 1276. And 1280. Ooh, they, have some they feel like some clouds. hot game loads. But that, that red dot is great powder for light loads. Oh. Yeah. Holes are a little roasted. We'll just have to cut them back to two and a half inch. 
Well, we're not getting any real outstanding 50 yard accuracy. Fellas, like I said, that's uh that's gonna be a seven, seven, eight inch group. About the same, about the same on the top. Well, boys and girls, we've got some old school gun club hulls here. We reprimed them all with Shittite primers. The green gun club we've got loaded with uh, 30 grains of long shot under the, the uh, SW250 Blue Clay Buster Lyman 525 wide, the wide they designed specifically for this uh, Lyman slug. And in the black Clay Buster, we've got 20, um, we got 25 grains of Herco and the SW250 Blue wide. For, shot, for the second three shot group, we're going to shoot at the top bull with the uh, with the 30 grains of long shot. We're going to shoot at the bottom bull with the 25 of Herco. All righty, that's 30 a long shot. Ought to have some pop. All right, shooting at the top bull. Fourteen thirty six, fourteen fourteen, and fourteen nineteen. If I read the chrono correct. Oh yeah, and as always, these tough gun club holes, and these are old gun club holes. They can be loaded again and again and again. Boy, it destroyed that thing. Yeah, Pushed it all the way in. There's the three, that's, a, that's about a three quarter inch group right there, fellas. Yep, the two, it pushed the bull's eye all the way through. Two went through the bull and the third one went right there. Wow, how about that? Now that is flat getting some accuracy. That's the size of a large animal's heart. That's all three in the heart at 50 yards. That would be accurate. These would be right on the money all the way out to 100 yards. Now I'll go, we might as well pull this off, ain't it, Rachel? Mm -hmm. Well, okay, fellas, in the old black um, gun club hulls, we have got these uh, SW250 blue slug wads with the 525 Lyman pushed by 25 of Herco. Herco is a great powder if you can get it or if you may have some put up. Oh, this powder, I'm this Herco powder I'm shooting right here, was manufactured in 1983. It was one of my old powders that had been put up, well, since the 80s. And uh, I'll show you, I have, I, I've got the container here. I'll show you what it looks like. I broke it open last year for the first time. It was still sealed good. And I'm still using the powder, but from 1983, how about that? I think it says. Twelve eleven. Okay, the sun. The sun got on the target and I couldn't see the red dot. Twelve twenty one for the last shot. And of course, you know, some of these old gun club hulls came out of a bag from whenever I was a teenager loading in that old bus. That was the reloading building right there, fellas. Y'all can see it behind me. I grew up loading from the 70s in that old bus right there. That's where I got started. Well, 
this could have also been me, fellas. See where that sun got on the bottom part of this target? And my red dot kind of was blending. I could see the halo okay, but I couldn't see the center dot real good. So, but those two group really good. But uh, for them to be low, this could be me. And uh, what I'm going to do now, fellas, before uh, I got a few to try out of a 20 gauge, but um, just to say we did try it, because I used to get pretty good accuracy out of smoothbore with these 525 slugs and the CB1138 out of the AAA, um, out of the AA holes, like the gray and the red. So the next six shots, I'm going to shoot out of the smoothbore, um, which is actually a, seven, a 703 constriction improved modified out of the Stoger, and we'll shoot these last six shots out of the smoothbore just to see what kind of accuracy we get with the smoothbore. Well, folks, three double-A gray, three double-A red, all old school. I've got 33 grains of blue dot in all six rounds, the CB1138 wad in all six rounds, the Lyman 525 in all six rounds. I'm going to shoot at the top, bull with the gray, bottom bull with the red and uh, gonna shoot all six of them out of a smooth bore and see if we can recapture some of the accuracy that I used to get out of the smooth bore shooting the 525 lineman. Okay folks I got the got the Carlson improved modified put into the Stoger here. All right let's shoot the top bull with the smooth bore. I'm having, I'm having some trouble now that the sun is full on the target down there. I'm having a lot of trouble seeing the dot. Let me see if I can see the green any better. No. All right, we're going to try it no matter what. looking at my velocity. The second shot was 1333. And that one sounded weird. Would you let me hold that hole closest to me, honey? That one didn't sound right. Is that a tick crawling on me right here? <laughs> I don't like this thing <laughs> at all. I was wanting the one, the last, that was the last one that I shot. I wanted to see what all it looked like. All three of them look fine. That sounded like a, a, yep. a seal failure. It did sound weird. Yeah. It definitely didn't sound right. Yeah. I don't know where the last one went, fellas. Something failed in it. And I don't know where the last one went. But these are about seven inches apart. All right. And I'm going to shoot the last, the red ones with the 33, a blue dot and CB1138. We're going to shoot at the bottom, tar, uh, the bottom bull. We found the wads sealed blew out on the one that didn't sound right. I probably did not have the wide seated all the way down on the powder. That is a common problem when you're loading the gray uh, AA hulls. They've got an extra support in the bottom where that base wide is at. It's like a lip that runs around on the inside of the hole. All you guys that were loaded double A grays know what I'm talking about. A lot of times the seal on these wides will not fit down inside that rim above the base wide. And, uh, and it won't get a good seal. The other two look like you'd expect them to. Alrighty folks, same 33 grains of blue dot. Everything's the same, CB1138, only we got the old, old school red double A holes. Still shooting at the smooth bore. I'm gonna shoot at the bottom bore with these. 
All right, I've got a little bit of a shade over it now, so I can see the dot a little bit. Twelve eighty one. Twelve eighty seven. And 1332. That first shot sounded interesting. What did it sound right? It had great velocity. It, it sounded like the last, last one. It just sounded like it was shooting. I kept with these wrong. with these headphones on, unless it really sounds weird, it's hard for me to tell. Everything else looks fine. The velocity was good. Looks like okay. one hit right here. I don't know if that was a time before this one. Rachel said that the first one sounded funny. It didn't feel weird and the velocity was good. So I don't know. Who knows? Who knows anything? But that's but that's what the accuracy ain't terrible. That's only about a five inch spread right there. If we could get all three of them there to close together. But um, I got some 20 gauge, and uh, we're going to shoot a couple of three-shot groups with the 20 gauge. All right, y'all stand by. Already, already, fellas and ladies, we um, for the next six-shot group, I'm going to shoot the top bullseye. We got brand new three-inch hot primed shit-eyed holes from Ballistic Products. 33 grains of blue dot, the Federal 20 S1 or the Clay Buster equivalent. And we've got the Lyman 350 Sabo. Now I trimmed the top, very top, it's about an eighth of an inch off the tops of these, uh, of the 20S1 wads so that the uh, roll crimp would center up on these, uh, on these Lyman Sabo. They really center them up nicely. The, uh, the second three shots, we've got 22 of uh, Universal. Uh, and the same 20S1 wide cut, we cut about an eighth of an inch off the top pedals of the wide so that they're not pressing up against this projectile. We got the little red 20, uh, 20 gauge, the Gualandi 20 gas seal, the little red one, they've discontinued. I just noticed that this week. I, I heard from some subscribers that they had discontinued that little gas seal. So now if we're gonna be using a gas seal, it's gonna to have to be the obturator 20. But the second three shots are going to be, everything's the same except we got that little red gas seal and 22 of universal powder in the second three shots. And we've got the uh, got the Carlson rifle choke tube here in the Stoger M3020. All righty. All righty. Seems I can see the sight okay. I wanted to get this one drilled and tapped so that I could put a red dot on it. Top dot. Six, 16, 16. Sixteen oh five. We got bees and bugs flying around everywhere. And 1588. It roasted the tops of the, uh, of the holes a little bit. These were three inch holes. We'll just cut them back to two and three quarter inch.
Heck yeah. That ain't bad, but just regular old sights. That's a dead deer a hog, that's for sure. And those things were smacking. They were up around over 1,600 or right at it. So they are flat clipping along. We'll shoot the bottom with the universal. And uh, now look and see if I got anything left in the bag. I think I got some two and three quarter inch. All righty, bottom. Bottom bull. Sun's back on it again. Fourteen eleven. Fourteen sixteen. And thirteen ninety nine. I say that's hovering pretty close to fourteen hundred foot per second. Oh yeah, those uh, those look good. They can be rolled again. Only, hit it with I only two. see two holes. I got three more of uh, the Shadite with standard primers, not that hot primer, and then I've got three two and three quarter inch that are loaded from once fired Rio holes. We'll shoot those and we'll close this out. Okay, folks, for the last six shots, I'm going to shoot at the top bowl. We've got a standard Shadite Prime, new Shadite 3 inch from Ballistic Products, 34 of Blue Dot under a 20S1 wide or the uh, Clay Buster equivalent. And we cut an eighth of an inch off the tops of the pedals so that we could get a nice center on the crimp on the slug. At the bottom bowl, I have three once fired Rio hulls, two and three quarter inch. Went back with a Shadite primer. We got 21 a long shot under a 20S1 or Clay Buster equivalent under the, the Lyman 350 for the final three shots. All right. I'm going to shoot the standard prime with 34 blue dot at the top bowl. See if I can, now the sun's back on it again. All right. Jeez, please. Eyes are getting tired. And when that happens, I can't see the front sight. Uh, and I can't see the front sight. Okay, fellas. This is the end of the video. I got to get through this. Just do whatever I got to do. Do the best I can is uh, what I'm going to do here. Fifteen ninety one, fifteen ninety five, and fifteen sixty one. Now that's some hunting rounds right there. Even out of a twenty gauge, that's got some pop. That'll take any big game animal, including wild boar. Yeah, we can get those crimps back. We can put the spin doctor on these and we can crimp these again or roll them again if we wanted to. Let's go see what kind of accuracy I did if I was looking at that front sight right. This is the two and three quarter inch guys I shot over to target with all three because my front sight, that's the reason it didn't look right. My front sight had fell off. And I shot all three rounds without realizing my gobble stopper front sight had come off. The back come off too easy too. I'm gonna have to remount them, but I don't have any tools down here with me. So I got the old big fat uh, um, high vis sight on there. I say big fat. It's smaller than the Stoger sight, but it's uh, um, still it covers half the target down there anyway. I'm gonna still shoot at the bottom, bottom half of the target. Try to hold in the same spot with the with just the front sight. So we can at least get this wrapped up. All right. We're going to give it a try. Thirteen 
13, 14. Got an error. Fourteen hundred. All right. Well, fellas, with the old big fat sight, that's about a seven inch, seven inch group, even with the old big fat sight out of the two and three quarter inch. They weren't tearing your face off, and we were still getting around fourteen hundred foot per second. All righty, fellas. Y'all can see it with your own eyes. We'll catch y'all on the next one. Bye-bye. Our Rio holes look great, folks. They can definitely be loaded again. Well, how about that, folks? You see it as it happened uh, on this revisit with the Lyman Sabo hunting slug video. Uh, there's a lot more possibilities. We got some good performance. We got some great performance. But you guys can pick out what you need with all this stuff. We really appreciate you following us along here on the bigger, better, and stronger Bubba Roundtree Outdoors channel. This is Wade and Rachel and Miss Joanne from Heaven. We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.